Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve subtree of another tree, lead code number 572. Now we're given the roots of two binary trees, root and subroot, and we want to return true if there is a subtree of root with the same structure and node values of subroot and false otherwise. So it's basically saying that if this root here, this tree defined by root, if this contains a subtree of subroot, well then that should return true. So here it does. Within this larger tree of root, we can see the four one, two structure here, and so that should return true. In this example, this would return false because in this tree of root here, we do have 4, 1, 2, but we have 4, 1, 2, and then there's a zero over here. So this tree is different than this tree, and so that would still return false. Okay, so suppose we had this as our tree of root and we're looking for this subroot here. And we can see we actually do find it here. There's our structure right there. So the way we would do this here is basically to check all of the nodes in root and to ever see if given that we're rooting at that root here, so if we're rooting at this, we'll see if that is the same tree as this. So clearly it's not, but if we were to go over here, if we root here, if we're rooting at this node here, well then we're talking about this tree and we actually find that those are the same tree here, okay? So we're saying for every single node in root here, if we root at that node, are we able to find the exact same tree as subroot? And again, it's not allowed to be just slightly similar. You know, it has to be fully the same here. So this tree and this tree are now different from each other. That would return false. Same thing like this would return false here. Now, the only thing else to explain here is really just how do we see if two trees are the same? That is actually exactly another problem that's been solved already. I'll link that in the description. It's called same tree. It's literally checking if two trees are the same as each other. And so we're just going to be using that problem, basically the solution to that problem as a helper function to see if given any root here, if we have that these two are the same tree. Okay, so firstly, I'll define that helper function, basically define same tree. So given a root P and another root Q, are P and Q the same tree? Okay, so these are nodes or roots to the tree, but are they the same full tree? So I'm not really gonna explain this because it's been explained in a different video. So we do, if we don't have P and we don't have Q, that is actually a true signal. So we'd want to return true. But if we have that we have P and we don't have Q or we have Q and we don't have P, that is a structural difference. And so we'd want to return false there. Otherwise, if the P.val is not equal to the Q.val, well, that's another case where the values are different. And so that must also be false here. If all of those check out, then we're currently equivalent. We just have to make sure that it's the same tree on the p.left and the q.left. And we also need to have that they're the same tree on the p.right as well as the q.right, okay? So they have to be the same throughout the entire tree. Okay, so now we're just going to use this helper function where we're going to scan through this tree. We'll look through all of the nodes in this tree or root, and we're gonna see, can we find the same tree? So for every node that we're looking at here, can we find the the exact same tree structure over here. Okay, so for that, we'd want to make another DFS function. We'll call it has subtree, okay? And it just takes one root here because it's going to scan just the one tree. And what we do with this is say, okay, well, if it's not a root, well, then clearly we haven't found one yet. If we scanned all the way to the bottom here and we found a null, well, then clearly we didn't find a subroot. And so we are just going to return false in that case, okay? So that's a base case where we're saying, clearly we have not found one here. Okay, otherwise, we actually have that root as a valid node here. And so this node rooting at, say, this node here, well, that could be the same tree as over here. We need to check that. So if we have the same tree calling our helper function on our current root that we're looking at, say this one right here, and it's always going to be with subroot because we're always trying to see if this tree is the same as this tree. Well, if that is the case, then our total function should return true here. Okay, this should return true because we clearly found a subroot we don't need more than one, we just need one, and so this thing should return true. Otherwise, if we went down here, we must not have found the same tree on this root, but maybe we find it on, say, on the left or maybe on the right, and we just need one of the two. So we'll return that we have a subtree on the root dot left, or we have a subtree on the root dot right here. We only need one of the two. 
Okay, and then we can just use this function, we can just return that we have a subtree on the root here. So that's our original root that we're calling on. So let me zoom out a bit here. Here's our entire code, it is quite a bit. And sorry, I got an error because this is supposed to be same tree on that. Now the time and space of this is very interesting here. So for every single node here, we are checking if they are the same tree as this subtree. Now this subtree could look awfully familiar to any of these nodes. This is actually doing O of M times n. If we say that m is the number of nodes in this tree and n is the number of nodes in this tree, it's actually m times n because we're saying for each of these nodes, we could actually go through the size of this whole tree because for every single node here, we're checking is this the same as this tree? This is actually suboptimal, okay? This is not actually the best possible solution. There's a much faster O of m plus n solution. Now the space complexity of this is also interesting. This is taking up space because of the recursive call step and we're basically doing a DFS down here because of has subtree. It looks at every node through a DFS fashion. And for each of these nodes, it's actually doing possibly a DFS through this tree. Now that's really not going to be more than we can just say O of N, where N is the total number of nodes in both trees. Okay, I hope this was helpful, guys. Drop a like if it was and have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.